Hello everyone and welcome to this quick review of the uh, Travex Element. I have some experience with Travex in the past and have a couple of their wallets. And uh, pretty good company, so let's get right into it. Okay, so a quick rundown of Travex. Travex is a company uh, located here in America. And their goal is to make products that will last you a lifetime. I have some other products. I have the uh, Travex Ascent wallet. I have their Keaton clip as on my keys every day. Also, always wear their cinch belts. Uh, they're very good belts, very good quality. And that's what Trave Expires do. They're expired to do quality products that are made to last you a lifetime and not wear out. So, uh, let's begin with an unboxing of the wallet. Okay, and so here we have the uh, box that your Travex wallet will actually come in. Uh, they do a pretty good job with their with their packaging. Actually, it's pretty pretty good quality. I kind of like the uh, the stealth aspect that they go with their boxes. Uh, they have the all black with the uh, Travex logo in silver, and they have it also here printed on the side. You get a little ID window to view your wallet, which I think is kind of cool, kind of unique. I mean, they take the time to do that and flip it over on the back. And you can pause this and read it, uh, but they kind of just give a general thank you to their customer. You know, thank you for buying their product. Uh, they tell you that they're an American company, which they're proud, proudly made in the United States. They actually advertise that on their wallets themselves. They donate to no non-profit organizations, and their big focus is they have a 65-year warranty, or basically a lifetime warranty, and which they honor. If you have any problems, anything's out of shape, they honor that and replace the wallet for you. Okay, so let's get into the wallet and unbox it. Um, the way Travex says their packaging is just a easy slide, little sleeve. You got another little card, just another another thank you and from Mark and the Travex team. Some contact information in case you need to contact their support team. Support team, excuse me. Okay, right, toss that aside. So here we have the wallet, and the way they do their packaging is they kind of fit it to the wallet. So the packaging will be a little different. Uh, depending on which wallet you decide to go with that they have. Um, and they have it just, it fits the dimensions of the wallet and it has a little cutout so it ain't going to move around and go fly out or anything like that. And as you can see, they also include that it was made by Willie. Kind of cool. Uh, kind of connects the customer uh, with their company in a way and their people that work there. Okay, so here's the, uh, the wallet itself. Like I said, this is the tobacco brown top grain leather that they have with the matte black coated uh, stainless steel now the, what they use is a top grain leather from the United States I think everything on the wallet is actually from the US the way that they connect the leather to the wallet is through stitching which is actually paracord which is kind of unique I know on their uh, set model they just use kind of a thread type material but on the element they use paracord which is kind of unique I kind of like that look uh, oh and on the inside of the wallet you open the wallet by just this little pull tab that Travax actually has patented, the only they can use it. Get you a better view of that. So what it is, it's kind of just a ring that just pops over that. It's very easy to pop over, but it d has never come open in my pocket, which is kind of cool. Um, as you can see there, if I can get a camera to focus, there we go. Just kind of a little pop. Okay, so inside, they do include a little card that says, again, Thank you for your purchase. But on back, they have instructions for fitting your wallet if you want to do the, the custom fit right away. I didn't go that route. Uh, I didn't have that many cards in it. I don't carry that many cards. But it is something to look at if you plan on putting, say, 10 cards in this wallet. You might want to do their custom fit. Which the wallet will actually custom, custom fit as you have cards in there. Okay, so again, you open your clip little band on the back of the wallet you just kind of pull it like that and you can kind of access your cash from here your cards slide into this hole here and I'll show you how that works I'm actually using a uh, some gift cards so they're a little bit thicker than your typical credit cards so oops, sorry about that I'm using five I got five five just gift cards you know gift cards are better to use on camera you don't have any information or anything like that so that'll be about five or six credit cards are a little bit thicker. Okay, so to put your cards in, you just take them. And let's see here. You can do about two at a time. If straight off the bat, you might have to do one or two at just maybe one at a time because it'll be a little stiffer. And you just you just slide them in. 
like so. And this, the wallet, if it's tight, that's okay. It's going to stretch and fit to your cards. Like I said, I usually carry about five to six cards. And as you can see, the wallet is already kind of conformed to these cards. And then once you have your cards in, you just flip it over, open it up. These are five $1 bills to try and just kind of give you an estimate. And what you do is you fold them like so and you just slide them in that clip right there. Oh, sorry about that. And then fold it over, fold your flap down. And I know my camera's a little close. I apologize for that. It's just the only setup I have at the moment. And there you go. So that is what your cards and your cash will look like inside this wallet. Now it is not that thick. I mean, it's very thin compared to your traditional wallets. And that is something I like about this wallet. It's thinner, um, it's easy to use to get a card out. You know, you just kind of pop them, cycle what you want, and there you go. What I do, if I want to get a card off the top, it's right there. I usually put my ID right there. But you can cycle through. Say I want that card right there. I know the glare might be a little bad. If I want that card, grab it, pull it out. And I just slide it back in. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Apologize for that. It's, it, it's, not, it's very simple to use. It's just a little, little different on the camera. Okay, so what do I think about this wallet? Overall, I think the wallet is a good option if you're tired of the old traditional wallets. You know, they go flimsy, they wear out, they just are bulky and kind of in the way. This isn't near as bulky as a wallet, as a traditional wallet. Um, let's see if I have one handy. I do not. Yeah, I do. Okay, here's a fossil wallet. As you can see, quick... Uh, side by side comparison this doesn't even have maybe three cards in it that's what you're already looking at with thickness that's not even loaded down it's bulky it's just messy heavy this is honestly compact and better i mean it's not going to be as compact as their minimalist wallet which is the ascent give you a quick comparison of those two as you can see this is actually i use the ascent more than the element it just fits me personally better Again, I apologize for my camera. It could be a little better. But there's a comparison there. And I also use, have some other products. Like here's their Traybacks uh, little keychain. Works great. Lifetime warranty on all their products. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a great wallet. I think if you're wanting something new, kind of something that not everybody has. Okay, so what are my opinions on this wallet? I think Traybacks as a company offers great products. As I mentioned, uh, they have a great... Uh, keychain lifetime warranty on that you know 20 bucks lifetime warranty uh, here's their scent I, I'll give you a size comparison in, comparison in a second I have that wallet I love it I've never had any issues with Trayvac so as a company I can highly recommend them now for the element itself I think for one it's, it's just man it looks great it's tough looking I mean you don't find many wallets that just look tough they look great uh, masculine you know just good, all-around, good-quality-looking wallets. Uh, I haven't had any problems. Which one of my worries was with this coating. I haven't had any problems with this coating wanting to come off. Uh, I guess you can see a little bit of wear on the back right there, on that little ring. But as far as the stainless steel itself, I haven't had any issues. Oh, and I guess another thing I mentioned about this ring, if you want to kind of clip it onto a bag. I mean, I don't have a carabiner, but as you can see with their clip, you could easily... Clip that onto a bag or on the inside of your bag or even clip it on your hip if you so desired to. So another unique thing about this wallet is its ability to kind of be your own. Now, with their top grain leather, it will wear in and kind of get marks and scuffs that are yours, that are your story in a way. Um, as you can see here, you can see where my fingernail is kind of nicked on it. Some, that might be an issue. To me, I kind of like it. You know, it shows that the wallet's used. You can see where it has outlined in my pocket just from being pressed and stuff where the uh, the little strap kind of lays. I like that personally. I think it's kind of cool because it's my own unique kind of touch. Uh, you can see around the stitching and around the kind of edges how it's a little darker in color where it is rubbed and kind of worn a little patina into it. And in the back, you can see it breaks in too. It 
it fits flush and flat as possible because that leather conforms to your cash. Now, I've been able actually to fit tons of cash in this wallet, which I like about that. You know, with some other wallets that are the minimalist design, you might not, if your guy carries around a lot of cash, you might not be able to. I think if you carry around a lot of cash, this wallet is a good option for you as compared to maybe some other products in their line. Uh, I think it's pretty great because you can, as you can see, you can adjust it and stretch it how you want. So, say I had more cash, well, or, or even more cards. You just kind of push that there and it'll be able to fit a little better. Sorry if I ain't getting a good view on that on the camera. So you could fit that much more cash in there after you cinch it down and adjust it. Which I think is good. It's, it has adaptability to the wallet. Uh, now one thing I will mention, get that fastened back, or actually, if you put a bunch of cards in here, say you put like 10 to 15 cards, if you ever want to kind of go back to a few cards, that might be an issue because you might stretch out the leather a little too far, but it might not because you can also, as you can see, cinch that down to the edge here, and you're good to go. So I think it's very versatile. I think that it's a good combination for somebody who carries cash and cards, whereas their minimalist wallet may be a little uh, iffy on the cash. Side. Okay, since I mentioned the Trayvax Ascent, I'll go ahead and throw it in here for just a quick size comparison. Now, this isn't a comparison of the two wallets themselves. I might make a video of that later, uh, but they're both good wallets, and here's you just a quick size comparison of those two. Uh, if you're kind of on the fence about it, you maybe this might help you kind of decide which one would be better for you. There you go. As you can see, the other one's a little thicker. Like I said, this is their, uh, the Sin is their minimalist uh, advertised wallet, which this is a minimalist wallet too, just this is kind of a to extreme degree, <laughs> a minimalist wallet, which is good if you like that. Uh, I also have a review of this Ascent, so go check that out. I'll put the link down in the description below. So just kind of a wrap up, like I said, the Trevax is a great wallet, very versatile, it's different, uh, and I can just, I recommend it. If you're, if you're on the fence about it, Pull the trigger, go ahead and get it. I can't say enough about how good of a company Travex is and the warranty and the quality of their wallets. So I uh, just want to say thank you for sticking around for this review and I hope you all have a good day. Thank you very much.